Hello, bonjour everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for those who subscribe to my channel. Today on this video we're going to talk about Flames of War, the DD Waffen SS command cards and the command cards we're going to see in this video or talk in this video are the different commanders available with the command cards. The first of the six commanders we're going to talk about is Karl Heinz Prince and uh, the card value is two point. The German formation warrior Panzer IV SS tank company, so you can only take that card if you decide to have the Panzer IV SS tank company in your formation. If the formation commander is on table or in reserve and units of this formation are in reserve, we roll one failed reserve die. If successful, this die can only be used to bring a unit from this formation on from reserve. So if you decide to have a tank company with headquarters of Panzer IV, or a Panzer IV SS tank company that may include Panther, Stug, Tiger, Light AA or Quad AA. You may decide if you place any of those platoon in reserve or even the headquarters in reserve and you fail the roll to bring in reserve, you can re-roll your reserve and hopefully bring one of those team in combat. But if you have infantry for example in reserve, that infantry team cannot join by this role, only team that are part of the company. The next command card is about Adolf Pikehill and it is for three point. The German formation warrior armored SS Panzer Grenadier Company or SS Panzer Grenadier Company. So basically you have to have a formation of Panzer Grenadier armored or on foot and the formation HQ unit and any unit that it conducts a joint assault with as the following rating. So motivation, close combat batch, counter attack 2 plus. And the formation commander has the following rating, scale close combat batch, assault 2 plus. So if your Panzer Grenadier are making an assault and your formation HQ is part of the assault, then the close combat batch assault 2 plus and close combat batch counter attack at 2 plus is in, in effect. But if your Panzer Grenadier is making the assault by himself and the formation HQ is not part of the assault, then you are not using those statistics to make the assault or counterattack. I think the difficulty with that is your formation HQ has to be part of the assault at all time. I think for three point, this card should have been giving every formation HQ and every platoon of Panzer Grenadier those stats, regardless they are with formation HQ or not. But I think it will be a bit too strong Panzer Grenadier platoon for assault and maybe it should be four or five points instead and with those. So that's my thinking about it but uh, feel free to comment below if you agree with that or not and if you think it's perfect for three point. So the third card is about Ernst Barkman. It's four point. It's a German unit warrior Panther tank platoon. So if you have a platoon of Panther you can use this card. Tiger or Panzer IV, for example, or Stungisches, you cannot use that card. It's only valid for Panther Tank Platoon. And the unit le leader may reroll one failed roll to it in each shooting step. If the unit leader is destroyed, roll a die on a score of 5 plus, it is bailed out instead. So for four points, you add a platoon of Panther with a really strong unit leader. Every time you roll, if you miss, is shooting step, you really roll is miss. And on top of that, if that unit leader get destroyed, then you can reroll a five plus to bring it back into combat. I assume also that if it is a uh, you fail that, you can probably transfer the the leader to another vehicle as usual with Flames of War. The fourth commander is Himmel Dur. It is for two point. It's a German unit warrior, the 7.5 cm SS tank hunter platoon. So you use that card with the 7.5 SS tank hunter platoon. What it does is when this unit is destroyed, replace the unit leader with an independent infantry team armed with Panzerfaust and its tank weapons using the characteristics from the SS Panzer Grenadier Company HQ LG208. So basically, if you have a Two, three, four, seven point five, Sunsmite SS tank under platoon. You decide to use that card for two point, 
and the entire platoon that get destroyed, you can take one team from a Panzer Grenadier platoon and make it a Panzer Faust team and bring it on the table uh, and then use it with the stat of the Panzer Faust. Card number five is Rudolf Roy. It's worth five points. You use this card when you use the Yak Panzer IV SS tank on the platoon inside your battle group. This unit leader may reroll one failed roll to it each time he shoots with his 7.5 cm gun. This unit gains the scout rules. Scout teams remain gun to ground while moving unless they shoot or assault. So for 5 points, the unit leader may reroll one failed roll to hit each time. So each turn he fires, the unit le leader fires his gun, he may reroll one failed hit. So pretty good. But for five points, it might be a bit expensive, personally, I think. So, last card. I think many people want to hear about it. It's Michael Whitman command card. It's worth 12 points. German Formation Warrior Tiger SS Tank Company. So, you must have a SS Tank Company to use that card. That means one command of one or two vehicle, two Tiger, and at least two platoon of two Tiger. And we're talking two Tiger, 25 points. So we're talking about 63 to 75 points for the tank company, SS tank company. Now, if you decide to use that and you have two HQ, two platoon, and two platoon, so you're six for 75 points, you add another 12 points. Now you are 87 points with six Tiger on the table. What that card does is your formation commander has an alt ROF of 3 instead of regular is 2, a moving ROF of 2 instead of 1, and a reroll all fail to hit rolls when shooting with the 8.8 .8 cm gun. So basically, you get another tank almost on the table for 12 points because you reroll, you, you increase the rate of fire by 1, and you reroll all fails. A shooting not too bad but 12 point it's one tiger in value so if you get destroyed you lost not one but two tiger the formation HQ unit may deploy using the ambush special rule in addition to any other unit that will normally be held in ambush even in mission without the ambush special rules so basically if you are the attacker for example most of the time you don't have the special rule ambush but with this card, Michael Whitman, you can take the formation HQ of Tiger and put them in ambush. Also, if you are in the defensive, and the special rule for that mission is the defender have one platoon in ambush, you can decide, for example, to have a, a platoon of Tiger in ambush and put a second platoon of Tiger, the HQ, with Michael Whitman in ambush as well. This completes my video on the D-Day Waffen SS Command Cards Commander. So we saw six warrior name with their point value and what it does to the team or the formation that it is attached to. Uh, feel free to make any comments if you think it's too many points or it doesn't worth those points or if for those points it should be something else or some other option with the command card let me know put some comments down below and share your thought with other people so thank you for watching hope you enjoy bye bye